Today we are going to talk about House Bill 920 and the impact it has on North Olmsted City Schools. House Bill 920 was put in place back in 1976. It prevents a voted levy from collecting additional funds when property values increase as a result of reappraisals or updates. This means when a levy is passed, it is for a fixed dollar amount. As property values increase, the tax rate is reduced so that the district does not collect more than the original amount of dollars. Let's look at a real life example. Here is a current tax bill of a North Olmsted resident. This tax bill is from 2018, as that is the last time the county evaluated property values. Here you can see that the resident paid $2,737 in property taxes to the school district. Here is that same residence tax bill from 2021, taking into account the most recent property value appraisal. Here you can see that the resident paid $2,870 in property taxes to the school district. If your property value increased by more than 17%, then you would see an increase in taxes on your tax bill. If your property value increased exactly 17%, then you would pay the same amount of taxes. And finally, if your property value increase was less than 17%, then you actually pay less taxes to the school district than you did in 2018. So what does this mean for the school district? Due to property values increasing during the reappraisal, the valuation growth could have gained the district an additional $1.7 million in tax revenue. However, due to House Bill 920, the effective millage rate is reduced, which does not allow taxes to adjust at the same value as property values do.